Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of March 1st through the 16th, 2021. So I want to thank all of you for your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box for ways to reach me. Um, also, if you want to uh, reach me by phone, it's a separate process. So just make sure that you're registered at Bill Per Call, request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. And um, be sure to check out Patreon because the Venus sign readings are there now, as well as additional content that you may enjoy. And you guys make sure that you are leaving comments because that also helps the channel to grow. All right, so we have the central issue, Heart of the Matter is the Hierophant. Justice, uh, Five of Swords, we have Death, Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the uh, Page of Pentacles. All right. Um, all right. So I feel that Something's going on in regards to unfair decisions, unfair behavior, pettiness. Um, there's some sort of back and forth energy going on. I feel that you may feel mistreated, but people also may feel as if you mistreated them. Mm. There is also some sort of miscommunication going on affecting you and your love interest or your relationship. There also could be talks about divorce. Um, I feel too like someone is saying things to get a reaction, but that you're not getting the reaction that you want back. So it's like, make sure that you mean what you say. Um, so let's say you're married and you're you don't really want a divorce, but you just want to get a rise out of your partner or you want to make them angry or you're just feeling vengeful. So you threaten divorce and they're like, uh, oh, I already got the papers. I was waiting for you to bring it up first. And it's just like, whoa, that's not what I was thinking. And you're like, OK, fine. And I'm going to sign the papers. They like me, too. You both just kind of going back and forth. Maybe you both signed the papers but didn't turn them in. Or maybe you didn't. You just both just being petty with each other. And it's not something that you really want. So I just kind of feel like there is some sort of miscommunication um, and petty behavior going on. Um, someone also is trying to prove a point. But, like I said, I feel like it's, it's on both ends. There's a lot of pride that is blocking you or keeping you from being uh, happy in a relationship. Now, also, if this is not directly your relationship, it could be people around you. It could be a work situation, like a lot of petty things going on. Even if it is a work situation, it may somehow be affecting your mood or your energy in your relationship. Um, I feel like your faith is also being challenged. Mm. Looks like there are documents that need to be signed or both people are being hostile with each other, refusing to do something. Maybe you're dealing with some sort of uh, legalities or child custody. Someone might, might be uh, dangling something in your face. Like if you want to date that person, um, expect that I'm taking you to child support or, you know, someone might be being petty in that way. Um, I see some sort of back and forth jealousy. Hmm. I also feel like maybe two people are not seeing eye to eye in their relationship. Um, maybe you guys are just 
very different spiritually, your views, your values, um, you know, something could be off. Also, I do see the possibility of mourning or a funeral or something of that sort that is somehow affecting your love life. Maybe you haven't been focused on love because you've been mourning or grieving, or maybe um, your grief is taking a toll on the relationship. It does look like maybe something that was, I see two people mutually agreeing to end it, feeling like something's a dead end. It's like, I don't think we're ever going to work this out. Like there's, I feel like the challenges maybe are becoming too much. And you guys are either agreeing to let the relationship go or you are agreeing to make the necessary changes for the relationship to work. Mm. I do feel like there's going to also be a change of plans. Like maybe someone was planning on moving forward with you, marrying you, and got cold feet. Whatever it is, it just looks like there's a change of plans. Someone is just like, I don't think I want to do that anymore. Something could be going on with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, or you are juggling between a fire sign and another person, or someone's juggling you between a fire sign um, and can't decide. Um, hmm. Something is definitely like a learning experience. I feel like you're having to learn from your past mistakes. Hmm. I feel like somebody also wants to be left alone, is keeping to themselves, also dealing with some sort of uh, anxiety or trauma. Whatever someone has tried to do to manipulate you isn't working or vice versa. Someone is also possibly giving you a taste of your own medicine. Mm. Hmm. I also feel that maybe someone feels threatened by a water sign or jealous of a water sign. So I don't know if some your partner has been accusing you like what's going on with you and so and so and a person so happens to be a water sign. Um, they're feeling some type of way. They might not like your coworker, or yeah, there's some sort of jealousy going on. If it's not jealousy, it's just still, it's something. Okay, so I'm also getting that somebody is going to get tired of the runaround or these mind games or this back and forth. And I feel like someone is going to let go and move on to someone else. Yeah. Ooh. He pouring that over his head. Ooh. Somebody might be trying to hurt you the way you hurt them or vice versa either way it's just it's not a good feeling and it still talks about ego is the culprit here you might end up regretting a decision that you made in the past 
unless it's the other way around but I see some sort of regrets feeling like maybe you shouldn't have gotten involved with this person or regretting that you chose someone over this person Hmm. Something's going to happen that really wakes you up or catches you off guard. Any type of feelings that you've been hiding or holding back, I feel like are going to get revealed or exposed. Somebody's been going through depression. Um, somebody may be not be happy in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, if you're single, you might be feeling lonely. Um you might not like the options that you have. I feel like you're still looking for something and you're still waiting for something. You're like, that's not it. That's not it. And I'm seeing 88. So, and then looking at this infinity symbol, it looks like an eight. So I feel like you guys are definitely undergoing some sort of emotional transformation. You're being transformed some type of way. Um, your relationship could be undergoing some sort of changes or transformations. You also could be thinking about an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, or you're having some sort of clarity or realization about who you want or what you want. Something seems like it, it becomes very apparent to you. I feel like maybe something definitely had to fall apart in order for you to realize it. Maybe you had to have an anxiety attack. Maybe something had to be taken away from you um, in order for you to really get it because something I feel like you weren't getting. Keep in mind the story could go the other way around. <clears throat> I'm picking up on the energy of the other person. definitely looks like if you keep procrastinating or if you couldn't make up your mind or make some sort of decision outside forces step in to make that decision for you or make something so uncomfortable for you that you have to make a decision I heard the name Clarence for somebody <clears throat> Hmm. Okay, I see you feeling somebody's pain or you realizing that you and another person are connected. Maybe you feel like you and someone are twin flames or you feel like your relationship is very spiritual in a sense. Yeah, I feel like your faith is going to be restored, but something definitely has to fall apart first so unfortunately it does look like a situation where you didn't know what you had until it was gone um, hmm. you may even have felt like you had moved on from someone or that it was over or that you didn't care and then let's say you run into this person and you see them with their new significant other and you might feel like, oh my God, like I feel some type of way. Like, what is this? I didn't realize I still cared or that I had feelings or that I was still angry. Like something does catch you off guard. I feel too like maybe someone's been hiding an illness, um, even if it's like a mental illness or like anxiety, depression, or someone maybe is hiding that information about their parent. But I feel like overall someone is hiding some sort of information. 
Hmm. Yeah, so hopefully some of these messages have resonated, but uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.